Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss how to initialize a non static variable using parameterized constructor. Okay, see question how to initialize how to initialize an object how to initialize an object okay see generally the non static variables so get memory allocation inside the object as soon as it has created get memory allocation inside the object and initializes with a default value we know that but if we want to provide initialization explicitly how can we provide how can we provide C? Here, so we are writing a class is a test, and here we are declaring one non static variable. So, what is non static variable? Just declaration of variable inside the class and outside to all the methods and blocks. Non static variables we cannot initialize directly. So, why the reasons we discussed already? in a basics okay so non static variables we cannot initialize directly so here with the help of constructor only we can provide initialization to non static variables constructor we are writing to provide initialization to this value and next main method we are writing is a public static void main string args now I want to create object. How to create object? So, whenever so we are writing new, so whenever new keyword executes, so first of all in the heap memory object will be created at some location, at some location. So, this is address, we know that address of object, memory address is always a positive integer value not only in java in any programming language okay so for example i am considering 2046 and as soon as object has created all the non static variables get memory allocation inside the object so a get memory allocation and initializes with a zero with a default value so because a is an integer and what is that integer default value is a 0 and next and next after a new keyword execution we need to call explicitly the constructor and we are passing a value whenever we are calling the constructor the so first time we are calling the parameterized constructor and here what we are passing 100 to collect this here so we need to declare one variable x here it is x is working like a local variable so remember this is local variable sir in place of x so can i use a yes of course non static variable and local variable can have the same name no collisions in java that is your wish suppose we are taking a only a. So, now whenever we are calling the constructor 100 will go and store into A. So, inside A the value 100 will go and store. So, now that A value local variable we are accessing directly that is a Java rule. Okay. Here it is A is a local variable. Now, I want to access it to non static variable directly you cannot access imagine if you access a directly it will collect the value from local variable 100 it will collect and it will assign back to the same variable back to the same variable so non static variable will not get initialization so that is why instead of writing directly we should follow the rules sir what are the rules if you want to access any non static member from non static area we should go for this we know this option it is mandatory now you are specifying very clearly 
collect the information from local variable because it is a direct access and assigning the value to non static variable because you are accessing using object. Object means what is a non static variable. So, the value will assign it to A, 100 will go and assign it to A. So, then automatically that A value 0 is initializes with a 100. So, this is object initialization. So, after object initialization, once constructor execution is over the control back and uh, constructor will return the address of object that we are collecting into any variable. Suppose O B is a, this is object reference variable. Object reference variable is of type what? Is a class type, is a class type. O B is a, is a class type variable. So, O B is a gets memory allocation somewhere and OBJ holds the value 2046. 2046 is object address. So, it start pointing to this object. Object. So, now here if you want to print, print that A value. So, what is that A value I want to access? How to access? Can we use a this keyword? This dot A? Can we access like this? No, it is not allowed reason this sir this is also object address only na but still it is not allowed because you are in a static area main method is a static area inside the static area you cannot use this keyword sir then how can we access using object reference variable because obj is pointing to this object na obj dot a so, this is accessing. So, obj means what 2046 dot a means what whatever the value which is inside the object. So, it will print clearly. Okay. So, this is how to provide initialization to object through parameterized constructor in the process of object creation. Okay. So, hope you understood. For more videos, please subscribe to Nareshati channel. Thank you.